Okay, so today we are going to be finding the equation of an ellipse given four coordinate points. This was requested. And so let's write out our main equation. In this case, it's going to be ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f all equals zero. And again, this is for an ellipse. Okay, and so the key thing to remember when dealing with an ellipse is that you need at least four points in order to get an accurate equation. And always remember that a was, will be equal to one. So we'll basically disregard a or um, what Lasby did in our last video, we can divide everything by a. And again, since a is equal to one, Everything will just stay the same, but this a will be canceled out. So this will create our equation x squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero. And as you can remember, in the last equation, a and c were equal, and so we assumed they were both one, but that was for circles. So now we have four different variables to solve for, those being c, D, E, and F. So the process is going to be process is going to be the same, um, just a bigger matrix. And so now we're going to take four coordinate points. In our case, our coordinate points are going to be two, four, six, two, three, three, and four, eight. So now again, our x, our y, x, y, x, y and our x and y. So we're going to do the same thing. We have 2, 4, the line. And I find this to be the e easiest method when calculating the equation. So we're going to just substitute back into this equation up here. So we have 2 squared plus c times our y value, which is 4. So we have c times 4 squared plus d times x, so we have d times 2 plus e times 4, because our y value is 4, plus f. And again, you can notice that f does not have a coefficient. We're just solving for that variable as itself. So that's all going to equal 0. And then we're just going to square these terms. So we have 2 squared is 4 plus c times 4 squared is 16. So we could write that as 16c plus 2d plus 4e plus f equals 0. And if you remember from our circle equation, from our circle video, we are going to minus our constants from both sides. In this case, we only have one constant being 4. So 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. So our final equation for our first coordinate point 24 is 16c plus 2d plus 4e plus f equals negative 4. Okay. So just by looking at our variable so far, you can see we're going to have a 4 by 4 matrix. Let's go to our next coordinate point, which is 62. So we have 6, 2, and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to substitute back into this original equation. And so we have 6 squared plus c times our y squared, and our y in this case is 2. So we have 2 squared plus d times our x value of 6 plus e times our y value of 2 plus f all equals 0. Again, we're just going to square our 6, our first term. 6 times 6, 6 squared is 36. 36 plus 2 squared times c. 2 squared is 4. 4 times c is 4c. Plus 6 times d is 6d. 2 times e is 2e. And f by itself is just f. So that equals 0. And again, we're going to subtract this 36 because it's our constant. So I'm just going to write that out. It's our constant. We're going to subtract our constant. So we have 36 minus 36 is 0. 0 minus 36 is negative 36. 
So we have 4C plus 6D plus 2E plus F all equals negative 36. That is our final equation for our second coordinate point, 6, 2. And now we are on to our third coordinate point, 3, 3. So 3, comma 3. That's our x value and our y value. Put our line. And so our first term is 3 squared plus c times our y value squared. In this case, it's 3 squared again, plus d times our x value of 3 plus e times our y value of 3 plus f all equals 0. 3 squared is obviously 9 plus c times 3 squared. 3 squared, as we said before, is 9. 9 times c is 9c plus d times 3 is 3d. e times 3 is 3e. And f by itself is just f. That's going to be equal 0. Again, in this case, 9 is our constant. We're going to subtract 9 from both sides. 9 minus 9 is 0, and 0 minus 9 is negative 9. We are left with 9c plus 3d plus 3e plus f all equals negative 9. That's going to be our final equation for coordinate point 3, 3. Next, we're going to have our coordinate point for 8. So that's going to be our last coordinate point for this ellipse. So it's 4, 8, x, y, the line, and we have our x term squared. 4 squared is plus c times our y value squared, which is 8 squared, plus d times our x value is 4, plus e times our y value, in this case it's 8, plus f, all equals 0. Again, we're just substituting back into our main equation of x squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f, all equals 0, and then we're just subtracting our constants, and then we're going to later on put it all into a matrix. So now back to the coordinate point 4, 8. We have 4 squared, which is 16, plus c, and 8 squared is 64, so it's going to be 64c plus 4d plus 8 times e is 8e plus f by itself, all equals 0. Again, since we have the 16, which is our constant, we're going to subtract 16, which is 0. 0 minus 16 is negative 16. So we're left with 64c plus 4d plus 8e plus f all equals negative 16. So now you can see that we have equation number 1, 2, 3, and 4. And now we'll create our parabola. And since we need a minimum of 4 points for the accuracy for the equation of an ellipse, we're going to have a 4 by 4 matrix. So starting with our first coordinate, we have our first coefficient of 16. We're just going to take the coefficients and put it into this matrix, similar to what we did with the circle. 16, 2, 4, and 1. Now, for there is no coefficient in front of a variable, it is assumed it's going to be 1 if it's positive, and if it's negative, like it's subtracted f, so it would be 4e minus f. You're going to assume that this coefficient is negative 1. In this case, it's positive f, so we're going to add 4e to 4f. This means we have a coefficient of positive 1. So again, we just are going to put all our coefficients into our matrix. So we have 16 down here, then we're going to do 2, 4, and 1. 16, 2, 4, and 1. And then we are going to have our second coordinate point, 6, 2, and we're going to take our coefficients from there. In this case is going to be 4, 6, 2, and 1. 4 from here, 6 from here, 2 from here, and 1 from here. And then our third coordinate point is 3, 3. The equation we got for that was 9 c 3 d 3 e and f by itself is just one and then we have our first large coefficient of 64 for a fourth equation which is from our fourth coordinate for eight so we have 64 4 8 and 1 so remember 
from our circle equation, we're going to take the inverse of this first matrix, and we're going to multiply it by all our variables. In this case, as we stated before, all our variables are just C, D, E, and F. And so we're just going to place those in this second matrix, C, D, E, and F. And that's all going to be equal to our solutions. So in this case, our solutions are negative 4, negative 36, negative 9, and negative 16. Negative 4, negative 36, negative 9, negative 16. And now we will both at the same time put it into a calculator or an spire. And on an spire, it's menu 7, 1, 1. You enter the number of rows, and in this case, we have four rows and four columns. And we will just enter these numbers into this matrix. And remember, it's easy to just take the matrix, put it to the power of negative 1, and then we're going to multiply by this matrix. So just to write it out, what you're going to put into your calculator is 16, 2, 4, 1, 4, 6, 2, 1, 9, 3, 3, 1. 64, 4, 8, 1 to the power of negative 1 times our matrix of negative 4, negative 36, negative 9, and negative 16. And this is what's going to equal to our variables of C, D, E, and F. It's crucial that you put all these numbers in order in order to get C, D, E, and F all in order. It just makes it easier for you. So we're going to have 16. Then we're going to have 2, 4, and 1. That's our first row. Second row is 4, 6, 2, and 1. Third row is 9, 3, 3, 1. Fourth row is 64, 4, 8, 1. Okay, and remember we're just going to put it to the power of negative 1. That's going to be multiplied by our second matrix of... Negative 4, negative 36, negative 9, and negative 16. So in that one, we're going to have four rows, but only one column. So we have negative 4, negative 36, negative 9, and negative 16. So we get a lot of fractions. So we get C equals 17 over 7. We get D equals negative 94 over 7. We get E equals negative 178 over 7. And then for F, oops, for F, we get 600 over 7, over 7. And these are our solutions to our variables. And now we're just going to put this all into general form. General form. And again, general form, in this case, would just be the x squared plus y squared. Uh, but this, in this case, we have x squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f all equals 0. Because in this case, we actually have to solve for our c term. So we have x squared plus c times y squared. And in this case, we solved for c and we got 17 over 7. So we have 17 over 7 y squared plus d, and d in this case is negative 94 over 7. So we can do minus 94 over 7 x. It's crucial to remember your variable. And that's going to be added to our e. And our e was negative 178 over 7 as we solve for it. And then our f was 600 over 7, and that all equals 0. So now you would just basically multiply um, by 7, your denominator, in order to get rid of your fractions and make sure everything is a whole number. So in this case, you'll multiply this whole left side by 7. So we have 7x squared, right? And then 17 times 7 is 119, which is divided by 
7 in order to get 17 y squared. So we're just keeping the variable. We're just multiplying our numerator by 7, dividing that by our denominator, and we're going to get a whole number minus 94 times 7 divided by 7. So you can see that based on these calculations, it's just going to be your numerator because we're just multiplying both sides by 7. So you have 94x minus 178 plus 600. And just to confirm, we have 600 right, times 7, which equals 4,200. 4,200 divided by 7 equals 600. Okay, so we're confirmed. And that's all going to equal 0. And finally, this is just your general form for the circle with coordinate, uh, for an ellipse with the coordinate points 2, 4, 6, 2, 3, 3, and 4, 8. I hope this video helped you guys. And if you guys have any more requests, please let me know and I'll try my best to make a video for it. Thank you.